This is the place where you check to see that they actually have memorized it. There aren't any lessons in this stage. We've actually been working on memorization throughout stages one through three. We've embedded it into the lessons. And when you read the lesson plans, you will see that. You'll see a place where it says, now practice this memorization or this strategy. So memorizing it is really to make sure that they've memorized and internalized it. So that's what we're checking here. It's like a temperature check. Younger students, because their mnemonic strategies are simpler, generally do a fairly good job of memorizing. And you, even after a few lessons, you can get them to tell you what the mnemonic means, tree or tide or, or www. They can tell you and they'll use it. In the older grades, their mnemonic strategy is a little more complex. So, but they're still capable of memorizing it and tell you, telling you what it means. And that's good because we want them to use it when they're actually writing. Struggling students need more practice. And they often can't spell all the words, reason or topic sentence. They have trouble with that kind of thing, but they know the concept and they understand what it means. This is a perfect time for peers and students to work together, to play games, to practice, to um, memorize those strategies. Teachers will come up with really cute, simple games that don't take very long. That's my, that's my biggest recommendation here is don't build and make elaborate games. You can make centers that have these in them. So when the kids are broken into groups, some kids can go to a center and there's memorization games there for SRSD. That's a great way to handle it. You just wanna make sure though, the big takeaway in this stage is to make sure, check, to make sure all kids have it before you move on. The goals for this stage are that the teacher would ensure that the students have memorized the strategy and can use it without prompts to provide opportunities for practice for students who are struggling with the memorization. The tasks in this stage include internalize the strategy using those mnemonics. Those were created to help students memorize and be able to use them independently. We also want them to internalize their own personalized self-statements. So this is where they think about their self-statements and they really make sure that they work for them, they have them, they understand them, they're really embedded in their psyche. At the end of this stage, the students have memorized these strategies and that they're ready to move into practicing and using support it much more robustly. We don't want them trying to think about what that mnemonic means while they're trying to use it. So we really want them to have it down cold and be able to internalize it and use it in, in their work. We certainly would want to continue memorizing in stage five as we work, but it's much easier if we have students who who can internalize that and move on to more practice.